Namaste and welcome to India Yoga Aarogya series. Today we are going to share one of the common problem with many people. Sometimes we recognize, sometimes we don't recognize this problem. Irritable bowel syndrome. In short, people normally call IBS. The irritable bowel syndrome quite normally affects in almost all age and there are a lot of different reason one of the major cause again stress here and irregular eating habits and irregular sleeping patterns this all can cause this and that can be one of the major area one has to be concentrated to eat regularly on time and sleep on time that can really help there are quite a lot of technique can really help you to do this the everyday morning the first thing one you has to need to do here mukadoti and agni sara to practice done every day morning before anything you want to do this two technique already available in our youtube channel that's why i don't going to show you but please follow the the two techniques from the channel the next important work one has to be follow for irritable bowel syndrome virasana and supta virasana also vajrasana can be done the virasana is one of the very effective practice whoever has any kind of digestive issues or any problem around the belly it helps sit in the keep the feet little wider and keep the buttocks down and knees necessary keep the little wider you can sit here you can sit anything between 5 to 15 minutes after every meal or any time of the day one of the very helpful practice and you can also connect with this one more technique it is also very relaxing slowly lower on your back and stretch this is also can be done any time of the day particularly right after a heavy meal it is one of the very helpful if you have any other health uh, the digestion related issues also this can help you to overcome make sure before going to bed every day 5 to 15 minutes without missing at least virasana if comfortable supta virasana make sure you done regularly once it is finished slowly you have to take your help of support and softly come up never rush never force you may get tense the knee and softly raise the hands and smoothly the with the hand support smoothly release the legs and stretch them straight in front the other important practice can really help here ardha padma paschimottanasana how ardha padma paschimottanasana has to be done in the empty stomach okay and what we need to do bring our the heel below the navel below the navel and softly stretch the hands straight up and gradually take your hands front and bring your chin into the shin remember the heel has to be placed below the navel and above the genital where spine has to be extended shoulder remain maintained square hip remain maintained square and stay here anything between 1 to 3 minutes and that finished as you inhale smoothly come up exhale and release your hands the next inhalation stretch your legs and you have to repeat the same on the other side too and that is finished the next practice what we normally go and do it's also very important also done with empty stomach when your belly is full you can't do this it's called maha mudra you have to fold and place your right heel below the sorry the next to the left groin the heel is gently pressing there and slowly stretch your hands front and grab your opposite foot and lengthen the spine extend the trunk and you'll deeply first then exhale completely then drop the chin and lock the belly and lock the pelvic floor and lock the chin all the three locks happens the perineum contracted lower abdomen contracted chin locked and breath is retained out then release all the three locks and inhale make sure if you have any stress neck and neck related issues you should not tense the neck again repeat that around 5 to 15 times on each side okay then once you finish slowly raise the hands up and release the hands with the hand support release your leg and change and repeat on the other side the next one it can really help here after this 
it is very helpful for people suffering from irritable bowel syndrome it is viparita karani kriya or viparita karani mudra also can be done here. even some simple viparita karani asana or sarvangasana also helps this is also done with empty stomach and slowly raise the legs and keep the spine around 45 degree and elbow bent and support it and the vipreeta karani kriya we are going to show you from here smoothly exhale actively around 30 to 60 times if you have a neck issues or high blood pressure and heart problem you should not do this one has to be careful on that if you have a even sore throat also you have to be careful on that once it is finished slowly bend the knee and smoothly release and relax for few seconds after relaxing and you can repeat another 3 to 5 times same viparita karani kriya when it is finished and relax a little bit then turn to your side and gradually come to seated and the next one is really very helpful ashwini mudra where what we normally going to do is very simple technique any time of the day you can do it particularly early morning when you have any bowel related issues or even the like you know the contractions and all and it can be done with empty stomach always done to be done with empty stomach you have to be as you inhale light contract the anus and pull it and hold it with the retention of breath the end of that release the anus and exhale completely the next inhalation again contract the anus and hold the breath as long as you can then exhale and you have to release it you have to repeat this around 10 to 15 times you can increase around 5 to 10 minutes as you feel better and comfortable the other practice can always helps you here also it is called pavana muktasana kriya this is another very helpful it also done with empty stomach not during the belly fill as you do exhale and bend the knee and hug your thighs inhale and release similar on the left side do around 5 to 10 times on each side but make sure there is no stress on the neck and any stress on the neck you should not lift the head only move the leg with the exhalation inhale and release then both legs together same technique exhale and press hard inhale and release smoothly another 10 15 time of this then last one you hold and hug it for some time that is also very helpful after that just relax for some time and breathe and stay there for some more. observation just watch when you inhale the navel raises up when you exhale navel drops back and watch keep witnessing that around 27 breath when the navel raises during the inhalation navel drops during the exhalation this can be done any time of the day whenever you exhausted also you can try this that also help to release a lot of tension related to ibs or any other digestion related issues Once you finish, slowly you have to bring the legs together and turn into the side. Slowly come to the sitting, and that's how the IBS really. It's a very simple practice, but really effective into the whole digestive related. Or a lot of other things can be done. It's like in a Samana Mudra will be helpful also, or the Shishasana will be helpful, Sarvangasana helpful. Like multiple things are there, but you have to look. You no need too many things into the start with. begin with once you comfortable you can start it adding the problem gradually disappear from your system you will become much healthier one day you can enjoy your practice much more deeper always welcome to know if you need any help and support in it thank you for watching and if you like it or if you think it is need anyone to your friends and family circle please keep sharing and supporting the people who need then you are see you in the next video soon